PDF is one of the most popular yes. formats out there. And a lot of people ask us every day, what is the best app? What is the best e-reader? Yeah. What is the best tablet to really give you the best PDF experience? For Goody Reader, my name is Michael. My name is Peter. And today we're going to take a look at our top five list of best devices that really give you the next level PDF mm -hmm. experience. Uh, first of all on the list is the Apple iPad. Of course. It has a ton of apps out there. Uh, to be able to basically do everything, yep. you know, from draw on PDFs to editing PDFs uh, to reading PDFs. My particular favorite is something that comes with the new version of iOS, which is iBooks. Right. It comes preloaded and it doesn't give you a lot of flexibility of editing PDFs like at all, um, but it gives you unparalleled freedom to read PDFs. Pinching and zooming is quick and robust, and you really get a great reading experience. And when it comes to PDFs, you're reading uh, a lot of the times ebooks, technical documents, yep. and pinching and zooming is critical. This is something that e-readers have suffered from in the past, where the pinching and zooming aspect sometimes isn't the greatest. But on an Apple iPad, especially the modern day Air and Air 2, you get a lot of great PDF reading mm -hmm. experiences. iPad's all well and good. Uh, with the iPad, you get a lot of choices you could, because it has its own ecosystem. You can download different kinds of PDFs. If yep. we're talking more of a proprietary experience, I think the Sony PRS T3 really did a good job. Reason being, Sony has been killing it with PDFs since the 650. Uh, the, all the T1, T2, T3 lines, everything's basically had stylus capabilities. Right. So on any PDF you load onto T3, you can go ahead and write on it and save it, save all your notes to a new file. And that's the beauty of the Sony T3 is because, like Michael said, a lot of these e-readers like the Kindle, even the Kindle Voice, they suffer from lack of RAM, lack of ability to run big PDFs, pinching and zoom problems. The Sony T3 didn't really have all that. You didn't see a whole lot of that in there. And I think because of that, T3 makes the list five top five experiences. Yeah, I mean, it had Reflow. Yeah, and Sony had spent years refining their PDF experience hmm. to really making the T3 the best six inch e-reader out there. The Microsoft Surface 3, when it comes to tablets, really takes PDF to the next level, mm -hmm. whether you're using the stylus that comes with it mm -hmm. uh, to edit PDF documents using a OneNote, OneNote gives you a ton of freedom. Yeah. You know, Adobe Acrobat X, which is uh, the Adobe version of, of PDFs. It allows you to basically fill out fields. And I mean, if we've ever got tax returns digitally, mm -hmm. or you've had to fill out like a passport information, there's a million reasons why you would receive a PDF, whether it's a resume, right. whether it's like an application form. And a lot of the times you had to print it out write on it, yep. scan it, mm. and then like email it to yeah, whoever. Yeah. Whereas with the Microsoft Surface 3, you could just do everything digitally. Yep. So you could take out the equation of having to print, scan, and send. You can just do everything on the Microsoft Surface 3. So that is one of my top picks for a tablet running a different operating yep. system than say the iPad and, and from Linux and everything like that to give you the best PDF editing experience on a tablet. Now you mentioned signing documents on devices and how it's a lot easier than, you know, printing out a tangible copy, signing it, getting your buddy to come over, sign in. It's just a big hassle. Yeah. Now, one we both agreed on to put on this list is the Sony Digital Paper or the DPTS-1. And why I mentioned the whole signing thing is because pretty much every time we get a document from an acquisition or anything, they say, hey, sign this. We don't have to print that out. We actually just put it on our DPTS-1, sign away. And once we put it back onto the computer, it turns out to be a blue pen and everything's as if you sign it with a real pen. And it's a very, very solid stylus on screen 
It's one of the best stylus on screen experiences I've ever felt because as you write on the DPTS-1, it's almost as if you're writing on real paper. It has that kind of resistance to it, unlike tablets like the iPad and the Surface where it's just a glossy screen. This one has a little bit of a feel to it. So yeah, uh, and that really reflects well into PDFs, editing PDFs, changing notes, making highlights, annotations, all that. Sony Digital Paper was made for the sole purpose of reading and editing PDF it documents. It only reads PDFs. Right. Yeah. Whereas like the the the, uh, the Sony else, T3, yeah. it was an e-reader first. Mm -hmm. uh, the iPad is certainly not a mm -hmm. PDF reading first. It's nope. a multimedia tablet. Mm -hmm. The last entry on our top five list is not a piece of hardware, mm -hmm. but it's an app. That's an app. It's called Replogo Reader. Mm -hmm. This is an app that was written and designed for Android, but it also works on any BlackBerry enabled 10 smartphone. Mm -hmm. Peter, tell us a little bit about Replogo Reader. There's a lot of text augmentation options in Replogo. So you can do the standard things like pinch and zoom, double tap to kind of go in and out real quick. Uh, you have this sidebar here that remains on the screen. You can easily make highlights over any field of text. You have underlines. Everything is lightning quick, super easy to manage too. Cross outs or strikes or whatever you call it. You can make notes shows up right there as a sticky boxes of text lots of cool stuff and even simply draw over everything you can box uh, your design make it bigger make it smaller change it up a little on bats lots of cool stuff you can do with this this is very interesting too arrows so you can point to things that people may need to be tending to so you say look over here and then you draw a little note and people know to look there so yeah this is a really good application and this is why it makes our top five list of PDF experiences we hope you've enjoyed our top five list if you're looking for an e-reader a tablet or an app that will make reading and editing a PDF simplified mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with anything that we recommended yep. here and again all the time we're asked what do I buy if I want to read PDFs right. or what do I buy if I want to edit PDFs? You have to look no further than our top five list. So if you have any comments, questions or concerns, or maybe devices we've omitted from yes, our list, absolutely. do you think we missed something critical? Drop a comment below. For Giddy Reader, my name is Michael. My name is Peter. Everybody take care.